Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and in front of me today I have an old school product. I've popped these puppies before. I have a box of 2002-2003 OPG. It would be a blaster from the pastor back in the day when it worked in tandem with Tops. Uh, so what you need to know about this product, 9 cards per pack, 9 packs per box, which would amount to 81 cards, which is more or less the same amount in, as in a hobby box of OPG Platinum these days. So it's a bit of a bigger uh, blaster box, if you will. Uh, and with regard to our odds, let's see what we have here uh, really quickly. We do see that we do have parallels, which is always the name of the game with regard to OPG. There are golds, blues, and reds. There is a Rookie Redemption, but that expired in 2003. Uh, of course, that would have been the Rookie Year of Zetterberg, of Spezza, of Bowmeister, of Rick Nash. Uh, there, are, there are some weird things. There are actually a couple autos. There's a Patrick Royal reprint uh, auto, I believe, as well as a Kovalchuk, if you can hit it. Super, super rarities. Uh, there is a die cut within here. So a couple of things going on within this particular product. Uh, so that's the box. It looks nice. I like it. And let's see if we can rummage right through it. I have opened one of these before. I have a couple of these. These you can actually get for seven bucks American, seven bucks Canadian. Uh, I've seen them as low as five dollars Canadian for these 81 cards within here. So that's actually kind of decent. Massive piece of styrofoam. See that? What a building block. What do we do with this? We discard it and there are the cards so let's see if we can get the cards out should be nine packs we do have an oversized card uh and our oversized card matt sundin wearing a green jersey and it is 22 of 25 there are not 25 of these cards 25 card checklist uh the way the numbering works back in the day nine times nine 81 cards uh i don't know if that counts the oversized card probably not and let's go. Uh, these might be really heavy, stuck, stuckified, glutified. Eric Daze. And here's the prospects. And the prospects would be of De Rocher. So this, these are uh, within the checklist. Checklist, I don't know, it's about 300 cards, something to that effect, I believe. Uh, Nicholas Hagman. Oh, there's an insert there. I believe all the inserts are, are not OPG, they're tops. Uh, but as I said, they worked in tandem back in the day. There's a Henrik Sedin. Brian McCabe, another prospects. This one would be of Norinen. And uh, prospects aren't uh, necessarily rookie cards. They sometimes are second year, sophomore, whatever it is. These two are glued. Samsonov. And what is this? Oh, another Matt Sundin. It's our second Matt Sundin. And it's an own the game insert, uh, tops, and it is a rainbow card. And it is OTG7. And is a 2001-2002 scoring leaders. And he would be uh, right after Iggy. Back in the day. I, I do like opening these cheap old school products because you really don't know what you're going to get. Uh, all kinds of options and probabilities. Another prospects, this one would be a Riku Hall. A lot of these prospects are not particularly well-known players. There's Cujo. We have a Cujo sighting. Let me just square these away a bit. Lankow. A season highlights of Ron Francis. Let's see where this is on the checklist, right up at the top. So there you go, 315 for the season highlights. The prospects are right up in the 290s. Ray Whitney, and that, Brendan Witt. Uh, oh, look at this thing. Hey, this is kind of cool. 13 of 14 tops. Oh, it's a tops reprint. It's one of the Roi reprints, which would be, I guess, a retro? 2000-2001 retro of Patrick Waugh. So this is sort of duplicates, I guess, one of the earlier version of, of Tops, probably from a, the prior year, or two years prior, I guess, I gather. I'll take a peek at that on the checklist to see exactly where it is in a minute. Uh, but that looks to be really cool. 
I'll figure out the odds in the uh, recap. Kovalev, Lalim, Chris Colonis. 208. Here's another prospects, and it would be of Varlamov, uh, not the goaltender Varlamov, another Varlamov, and another uh, prospects, and this one would be of Brian Allen. That Patrick Watt card was actually kind of neat. Always looking to amass Patrick Waugh inserts. Patrick Waugh is first in our game, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, in playoff wins and obviously in Consumer Trophies as well with three of them. Alfredson, Dahlin, Malinsky, these are hard to read. Here's Radic Bonk, who played on the Vegas Thunder, and Brett Hall with your... Red Wings. Uh, almost halfway, I guess, at this point. Gonchar, Daniel Sedin, a prospects of Mato, Kachuk, Keith Kachuk's the dad of the Brady and the Matthew. Finnegan, uh, Finneganov, not easy to say, and a Derek Morris. We could potentially get a die cut. There are those hometown heroes. So there's a bunch of things. As I said, there are a couple of really super uber ultra rare uh, autos. Uh, wouldn't count on them, but to hit an auto would be just ridiculous out of a $5 blaster. Do you have a hit there? Not a hit, an insert, I guess is what you'd call it. Season highlights of Shanahan. Prospects of Kudrog. Oh, look at this thing. It's an all-stars of Sergei Gonchar. Uh, I guess 320, so that'd be really high up on the checklist. I gather uh, around the 340 is where you have your rookie redemption cards, your uh, your Nashes, etc. There's a Danny Heatley. It says top, oh, it's because I believe he won the Calder. Uh, he was the second overall, was Danny Heatley. And then we have a coast to coast of Peter Bondra. Uh, so this is one of those tops inserts, flashy, uh, mirror ball -y card. Brewer, all stars of Geo Geo Sakic, Geo Sakic. Sean Avery. Geo Sakic scores. Geo Sakic Most of these people aren't around anymore. Geo Sakic again. So one of the all star one is the Bills. Uh, Matt Cullen would still be around. Uh, Joe Thornton would still be around. They started their careers in 1997. Prospects. Uh, and here we have something. And oh, okay. It entitles you to receive OPG cards. Oh, you know what I just hit? I just hit the redemption card for the rookies. Unbelievable. But look when it expires. I actually hit the redemption. So cards 331 through 340. This is the rookie redemption. Actually, it's 1 in 40, which I guess would be 9 in 40 because we have 9 packs, so that would be a 22.5% chance. Uh, assuming this is the base one, the there are Rookie Redemption packs of the parallels, I guess the reds and the blues, etc. I believe this would just be the base one. Uh, so, you know, I actually already have those cards, but it's kind of cool to have hit it nonetheless. Very, very cool. Huh. And this... Dan Blackburn, by the way, he was the 10th overall, but what was interesting about Blackburn is he sported two blockers at one point because he got so, he became so injured uh, that he basically had issues with uh, one of his arms. Nielsen, Lexiev, I guess, George Larock, Mike Comrie, Mike Van Rin, Eric Belanger. Oh, there's something here. Oh, cool. We have one of the checklists as well. These are a little bit papery uh, in comparison to the other cards and brown as opposed to uh, the maroon color or whatever that is. And our hit is, well, what is this? It is a great news for collectors, trade night. It's just an advertisement. Home team tops advantage trade night thingy. Strange. Last pack. We have a prospect. 
uh huh regear an all-star of yara yager kapanen these are sort of been sort of stuck unfortunately and we do have something here, so let's see who it is. It's another one of, oh, look at this. It's a Byron. The foe own the game. So this is our second own the game. We did not hit any of the parallels, but we did hit the redemption, which is kind of fascinating. So let's go through these fairly quickly. Okay, guys, time for the recap. So with regard to base, we received a good 60 of these bad boys, Ron Tugnut there. Uh, they're pretty glossy in this sort of transition era of, of OPG tops. Uh, but there are a couple of known quantities like Stevie Y, Mark Grecki, and that would be that of the, I guess, 263 base base cards above and beyond that. You have the prospects that run 264 through 313. Uh, a lot of lesser known people within the prospects, as you can see, but there's, there's Sotheby, there's Avery, uh, but a lot of lesser known, maybe 15, 16 of these prospects of the 50. So we receive those as well. Oh, uh, well, oh, well, oh, well. We did receive a checklist, which are very papery, these checklists. So we received one of those. And then with regard to All-Stars, which is, I think, a shorter... There's the season highlights and the All-Stars. The season highlights are only five cards uh, in that checklist. And we received, I believe, two of them. And here's the Shanahan, as well as the Ron Francis. And it lists franchise notches and sharpshooter Shanahan. So these would be our season highlights. All-Star cards, All-Stars are 12 card checklist. We received three of them, including the Geo Sakic and the uh, Yari Yager. So kind of nice to receive a couple of those. Uh, we did, by the way, receive our oversized card, a 25 card checklist, and we hit the Matt Sundin. Nice oversized card. You can see the size of it in comparison to contrast. Uh, we did receive one of the Coast to Coast, and it would happen to be Peter Bondra, very sort of foily card this would be, a foily, foily, foily card. I'll place it right down there. And we did receive two of the Own the Games, including the Byron Defoe, also sort of uh, rainbowy, and another Matt Sundin. So this would be goals and wins, Own the Game. So it would be leaders of those varieties and vernaculars. Uh, what else did we receive? Uh, I guess our hit of the box, or one of our hits of the box, would be this retro, uh, I guess it's a reprint is what they call this, of Patrick, Patrick Waugh from 2000-2001. So this is actually a recent reprint uh, of the Patrick Waugh. Uh, so they look like that two years prior, which is very, very similar to the present look of the 2002-2003. So that's nice, and it's 13 of 14 on the checklist. So this is an all Patrick Roy checklist, by the way, in case you're wondering or curious. Pop them right next to Bernie, not Bernie Sanders, Bernie Williams. And we did hit, strangely, we did, did hit the Rookie Redemption card. Boom. Uh, unfortunately, this expired in 2003. It would have, us, it would have granted us the rights to uh, Rick Nash, Henrik Zetterberg, uh, Jason Spezza, Jay Bomeister, Alex Hemsky, uh, etc., Kobasu, etc. Uh, these are 1 in 40. This is 1 in 18. Uh, but So this is actually a 22% chance of hitting this. And we hit it. Can't do anything with it, uh, unfortunately, sadly. Uh, and that's just the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So I just thought this is a cool product. You can actually get it for almost like five bucks. You can get it really super cheaply. Please provide a like, please provide a comment. I happen to be Fulton Cards. Uh, please subscribe, Fulton Cards Live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York.